Chroma is a popular tourist destination, and if you have ever been, you will understand why. Chroma is way too busy for me in the summer months, and I think the best time to visit Chroma and experience the town is in the winter months. Unlike other coastal resorts, Chroma doesn't become a ghost town after the summer season, and there are still plenty of things to do. In this video, I aim to demonstrate just why the best time to visit Chroma is in the winter months and on a drizzly day like today. In the summer months, this entire car park is full and getting a space is a nightmare. In the winter months, parking is not a problem, even in a motorhome, and you pretty much get the entire car park to yourself. A short walk from the car park, we arrive here, overlooking the sea, the pier and the promenade. This view is stunning, and whilst it is nice in blazing sunshine and blue skies, I think it is fantastic in the dull winter months when it takes on a moody look. In the summer months, this street is crowded, and walking down here is a constant game of dodge the tourist. As you can see, it's totally different this time of year, and whilst getting some chips or an ice cream is a little more tricky, it's still possible. At least you can get a go in one of the arcades and have a punch on a fruit machine if you want. Here we are at the bottom of the ramp on the prom, and what better place to do a quick panoramic. People do visit Cromer on dull and drizzly days like this in the winter months, which helps to keep the local businesses open, but it's not at all packed. On days like this, Cromer has a certain charm about it, and I find it captivating. I never tire of this scene, regardless of how many times I come here. Chroma is famous for its pier, and a trip to Chroma isn't complete without a walk along the boards, even on a wet and drizzly day. Being on the pier allows you to really inhale the sea air and suck it in. The pier is always quiet on days like this during the winter months, and you won't have any problems getting a seat, which often happens in the height of summer. There is sheltered seating on the pier, which is ideal for days like this, and it means you can take a seat under cover, look out to sea, and watch the world go by or simply ponder. The views from the pier are stunning, and you can either look out to sea or look inland towards a town which is actually quite quaint. It's time to walk along the prom and head out towards the wooden beach huts. As you can see, the rain is still falling, it's pretty dull and miserable, and here's the Rocket House Cafe Museum. It's not a bad place, this is actually open even during the winter months, which is pretty cool. There is something about walking, walking along the prom especially in Chroma on a day like this. I don't know what it is, it's just captivating. But anyway, we're heading out now towards the uh, the beach huts. Sorry for the, the mark on the camera, it's the rain. It is here we approach the part of the beach where the fishermen keep their boats and their tractors. If you like fishing or maritime history and stuff like that, this is actually quite interesting. On the right hand side we have some beach huts, they're not very pretty and they're made of UPVC or something. I don't know if these are privately owned or whether you rent them, but whatever, they're low maintenance, not very nice though. And some more boats. The smell down here is um, not that great to say the least. It stinks of chroma crabs as you'd expect and fish and it really does hit the nostrils. I suppose the smell isn't such a bad thing, it's all all the charm of Chroma, I guess. It 
So we're carrying along the prom, rain's still falling, but I'm still enjoying the walk. We've now passed the boat and the beach is a little bit quieter. And uh, as you can see, we're still heading towards the beach. It's not quite there yet. This part of the beach is very quiet and all you get this time of year is the occasional dog walker. And there we go, the beach huts are now in view. The last time I saw one of these beach huts for sale, which is basically a 3x3 three three shed, um, they were going for around £35,000, which is absolutely mega money. As you can see, they're traditional wooden Victorian style beach huts. They're not very pretty, but in fact, no, they're, they're but ugly and they need a lot of work doing to them. Are they worth the money? Mm, that's debatable, but when you look out and see the view you get from them, I think you then have to decide for yourself. Now we've been to the beach huts, it's time to start the walk back to the main town where my uh, my trip to Cromer finishes. Once again, walking along the prom on the right hand side are the fishermen's boats and tractors and all their fishing gear. The smell of fish and crabs is in the air. As I said before, it's not ever so pleasant, but it's part of the charm of Cromer, so I suppose um, that's what people come here for. And in the big scheme of things, it's really not that bad. As you can see, the beach is pretty much deserted today, which I suppose, given the poor weather, is to be expected. The pier was a little bit busier, the, the other end of the prom was a little bit busier, and the town is also a little bit busier. But the good thing is things are still open so after this wet walk I can go and uh, jump in one of the many cafes and have a nice coffee and warm up and dry off. And there we go, we are now back to the Rocket Cafe.